With just one week into the September 3 general elections, the manifestos published by the two main political parties have sparked conversations amongst many. Some persons are not impressed with a portion of the Jamaica Labour Party JLP's manifesto which promised to provide 100% financing towards home for young persons. The critics say the National Housing Trust NHT already offers 100% mortgages. But chairman of the JLP's manifesto committee, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, has explained that her party is proposing to extend the benefit to persons buying homes outside NHT schemes. The 100% financing that we implemented in 2017 under the NHT, so that you give 100% financing for NHT scheme housing, uh, that for young people, that we, if we do have, for example, HAJ or PPP uh, produced affordable homes, because remember, this is 70,000 affordable housing solutions. Uh, so they will be priced at a point that make them more accessible, but they may not all be done by NHT. And we just wanted to give that assurance to our young people. In addition, Mrs. Johnson-Smith says if her party wins the election, they will provide $1 billion yearly for construction of houses to some of the less privileged Jamaicans. There are persons who are at a particular level of vulnerability who are prone to squatting. They are not in an income bracket, whether by, you know, consistency of work or by level, that would allow them to get into a regular paying schedule, uh, like a mortgage, and even like rent, for that matter. They need a particular type of assistance with housing. Oluwafunke Bayisha, Frontline News.